lecture three, we get to understand a little bit about the history of astronomy, some of the key people that played important role Of course, I put this picture because it's very key in the history of astronomy. It's called the Leaning Tower of, not pizza, Pisa. Not the Leaning Tower of Pizza because that, that makes you hungry, okay? But I'm sure if you go there, they probably have a store on the side that sells pizza. Uh, so what is it famous for? Galileo went on top and dropped objects to show that they fall at the same rate. They hit the ground at the same rate, right? And uh, now it's starting to lean more and more. It's a very historical site. People go there for tour tourism. Uh, Archaeoastronomy is the study of ancient civilizations and how they studied astronomy. So there's a whole branch of astronomy that is called archaeoastronomy, kind of like archaeology. So see here are some examples of them. Mayans, you've all heard of this. They built huge temples in honor of their gods, especially the sun god, which still stands today. So they had a whole history of calendars and a uh, rich history of studying the sun and worshiping the sun and all of that. Um, there's a quick picture that I can show you here. This is uh, one picture of many. Uh, you see here the temple. Is, these are the steps and stuff leading up to the top. So people go there again. A lot of tourists go there to view the temples and to study them. American Indians carved out shapes in caves that were used to track the path of the sun and predict the time and the seasons. This is pretty interesting too, you know. So even they had their form of astronomy. <clears throat> so we have found archaeoastronomers have gone and dug, uh, dug a place in the caves and have found these cave drawings and stuff. The picture that I'm going to show you here, you see here, this is inside of a cave and then they have all these pictures of the shapes being drawn and when the sun is coming through the crack, it's making a certain shape on the, in the cave. And then based on that, they are able to tell whatever season it is and the time of the day and so on, like that. So that's, oh, uh, again, another example of archaeoastronomy. And there's so many examples that it'd be, you could basically fill out pages and pages. The Celtic Druids built a place called Stonehenge. This is one of the most famous ones, used to worship the sun. On summer solstice, the sun's shadow would fall in the middle of the temple. So basically the way that they oriented this, it's basically a set of stones, and it was also a place of worshiping the sun. The sun, on the summer solstice, the sun would rise in such a way that its path, its direct rays would go through the middle of the temple. And then that, that was their way of knowing that it's the longest day of the year. The longest day of the year, the beginning of summer, which happens on when? June 21. You see, so the picture over there is, this is it here. So uh, when the sun shines, it goes here through the middle, directly through the middle. And then they have two pillars here. On, besides these stones, they have two stones here, and the sun goes directly through there, only on June 21, on the longest day of the year. The sun goes right through there, right through there. And then you can see here, tourists are there uh, taking a look at it. Of course, other cultures abound in past history of science. The Chinese, Indians, Aztecs, Babylonians, Africans, and many, many, many other examples of ancient astronomy that took place, study of the sky. Egyptians had their form, of course, famous for studying the sky. <clears throat> 